In this video, we're going to solve a problem which appeared in J Advanced 2016. So let's understand the problem statement. In this particular problem, basically, we need to find out the number of solution of the given trigonometric equation lies inside the interval minus pi to pi. So that means in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant. Though it's provided that x is not equal to 0 and x cannot be pi by plus minus pi by 2. Okay, that's it. So that's the problem. So let's go ahead and solve this particular problem. So as obvious, first we consider the given trigonometric equation, right? Now in this equation, right, we have all sine function, uh, sorry, uh, sec function, cosec function, and all that stuff. So that's why, right, first we try to convert if this equation in sine and cos. So that's why we rewrite that in the form of sine and cos. So what is sec x? That is 1 by cos. What is cosec? 1 by sine. Tan is sine by cos. Cot is cos by sine. And now we multiply both sides by sine x and cos x. So if I do so, the equation will be reduced to root 3 sine x plus cos x plus 2 times of sine square x minus cos square x. So which is very straightforward calculation. Now, we just take minus 1 common. We can take from the last term. That means that we can rewrite it as uh, minus 2 cos square x minus sine square x. Now we all know that, that cos square uh, 2x cos square x minus sine square x can be written as a cos 2x. So therefore, we just replace that cos square x minus sine square x by cos 2x. And that's it. So now we divide again both all the equation by 2. So therefore, we get root 3 by 2 sine x plus 1 by 2 cos x is equal to cos 2x. So we get some form. Now, why we do so? Because we all know that to solve a trigonometric equation, we need cos uh, x is equal to cos alpha, sine x equal to sine alpha, something, right? Then only let's go ahead and we can apply the general trigonometric solution. So that's why we are dividing by 2. Now, why we divide by 2? Because we know that, that sine pi by 3 is equal to root 3 by 2 and cos pi by 3, that means cos 60, sine 60 are root 3 by 2 and half respectively. So therefore, if we substitute that values, right, in the appropriate places, we get that left-hand side of the last equation, right, left-hand side of the equation, right, will come back, will come back as this root 3 by 2 will be changed to, once again, uh, changed to uh, sine pi by 3 and half will be replaced by cos pi by 3. Now, if we recall the formula of cos A minus B, we know that it is equal to cos A cos B sine A sine B with a plus sign. Now, if I consider A is equal to pi by 3 and B is equal to X, so therefore the left hand side of the expression, right, will be equal to cos pi by 3 minus X. Now, we all know that, right, if cos X equal to cos theta, X is equal to 2 and pi plus minus theta. So therefore, so therefore, we can get the solution of this equation as pi by 3 minus x is equal to 2n pi plus minus 2x or if I consider in a reverse way because our aim is to calculate x. So therefore, we can say that in this equation 2x is equal to 2n pi plus minus pi by 3 minus x. So this is the easiest way you can go ahead in any other form. So that's it. Now we can simplify this and we can find out the value of x. Therefore, we can find out that two, uh, if I consider the plus sign, so therefore 3x is equal to 2n pi plus pi by 3 and x is equal to 2n pi by 3 and pi by 9, where it is an integer. If I consider the minus sign, so therefore it will be 2x is equal to 2n pi minus that pi by 3 minus 6 and if I rearrange the uh, terms, right, we get x is equal to 2a pi minus pi by 3. So therefore, the general solution of the trigonometric equation, we can say x is equal to 2n pi plus pi 3 plus pi by 9 or 2n pi minus pi by 3. So we get the general solution. Now we need to find out that how many solution or x is possible inside the interval minus pi to so now we just uh, try to simplify the values of x, whatever we obtain, right, as a general solution. 
So therefore, you can see that x can be written as, as 6 and pi plus pi by divided by 9. We just add this uh, 2 and pi plus uh, 2 and pi, uh, 3 plus 5 by 9. So this term we added and it will come back as 6 and plus 1 and if I do go the calculation of the second part right we can get it as it will be odd uh, x is equal to 6 and pi minus 1 pi by 3. Now why we do this? Because we see that right we need to find out the values of x. Now here right we have to notice little bit carefully. See that uh, one easiest way to do that substitute the value of x equal to 0 uh, n equal to 0 n equal to 1 equal to 3 and so on and so forth and can check the value of x and then try to find out right the possible values of uh, x in that interval that's a very straightforward job but here we did it using an inequality why though it, that this step is not that important right but still we are applying that because for some problem maybe that is useful and also right uh, uh, it time it's not that time consuming okay because if you have to put the value do the calculation properly and then check greater than less than so it takes some more time so do so right first we can see that x is equal to 6 and 5 plus 1 divided by 9 okay now as x belongs to minus 5 by 2 pi right so therefore the 6 and plus 1 is lies between uh, less than minus pi and all that stuff so here we solve that inequality to calculate right the values of n or the domain or the range of n right whatever you call so therefore we multiply both sides by 9 and pi pi get cancelled if we uh, subtract 1 from all the sides and divided by 6 we get that n lies between minus 5 by pi by 3 5 by 3 and 4 by 3 and we can say that it lies between minus 1.6 to plus 1.6 now as n is the integer so therefore n can only take the value minus 1 0 and 1 so therefore in the expression right 6 and uh, 1 and pi by 3 we just substitute right we just substitute a equal to minus 1 0 1 and get all the solution so if we do so right uh, we get that solution as minus 5 pi by 9 pi by 9 and 7 pi by 9 so that's the solution of x and similarly, and similarly, we just take now the expression with the remaining expression and use the same inequality. Multiply by 9, add 1 both sides, divide it by 6, then we calculate the numerical values and then it says that it lies between minus 1.3 to minus 1.6. So therefore, here also as it is an integer, it takes the values minus 1, 0 and 1. So therefore, here we'll substitute the values minus 1, 0, 1 and obtain the values of x. Therefore, if I put minus 1, 0, 1, 1 respectively, we get the respective values of x. So therefore, the solution of the given equation in the interval minus pi to pi are just listed down all those values. Now here, our problem is to find out the sum of the solution. Now we can we can easily notice in this particular problem. We can notice in this particular problem if we add all that's seven pi by nine, seven pi by nine get cancelled, pi by nine pi minus five by nine cancel, and all the values are cancelled to each other. So therefore, the sum of all these solution will be definitely be zero, and that's it. So therefore, for this particular problem, obviously option C is the correct answer, and that's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.